So, Dr. Lazara, thank you for joining us today. Glad to be here. So last week, a research station in Antarctica recorded temperatures that were about 70 degrees Fahrenheit higher than normal for this time of year. Could you explain what caused this dramatic spike? So we're still studying some of the base reasons, but in essence, what we had take place what is known as an atmospheric river, or in essence, you had uh, some air and clouds, um, much warmer air coming from um, further to the north uh, that was uh, coming into the Antarctic and up over towards this station. Um, and so that did a couple of different things. It ended up mixing up the air, getting rid of some of the cold that was over the area. It brought in more warm air um, at, from further away. And clouds kind of acted like a little bit of a blanket that kind of actually um, uh, brought some of their own little bit of warming in perhaps. And so some of these are the potential reasons in combination that gave us such warm temperatures. And could you uh, sort of explain to us how out of the ordinary these temperatures were? Yeah, uh, you know, if you think about it, it's not much different than if we were talking about a winter day here where we live in the US and we'd have what? perhaps a 20 degree Fahrenheit day. And instead of that, we were having a day that was instead 70 or 80 degrees, just dramatically warmer than you would expect for a typical day in winter time, which we would expect 20. Uh, so that's the kind of difference that took place here. It's pretty impressive. Was this just sort of a, you know, a fluke warm weather day or uh, was this more related to, to greater factors and climate change? So winter warming events, uh, take place um, each or, or have been taking place for a while in the Antarctic. It's actually someone in my research team just defended his master's degree uh, studying some of these. And we're going to be doing more of this kind of study into the future. Um, this dramatic that we saw, that's not a typical. Uh, and this is something that's even beyond some of those that we've been studying. Um, so it's hard to have the one specific event tied to change. However, it's, you know, if we start to see more of these, if they continue to have this kind of intensity, then it's starting to be something that we go, oh, we're starting to see more of that connection um, because it would become part of the climate record and it really would be tying to change. 